to the district high school. If coordination was to become their decision, tap water <coughs> would be treated probably everywhere. Okay. There will some be those who complain they can taste the tiny traces of chlorine that the treatment requires. Yes, it does have a taste to it. Okay, no one's denying that. You go to the swimming pool, that's why you have a shower afterwards, okay? To get the chlorine off your body, to get the stuff off your body. And some will say, as one woman in Havelock North, that is no good for their hair. Okay? Women and their hair. Okay. <laughs> okay. Councils are more vulnerable than governments to impassioned minority views. Impassioned means dedicated, strong. about something you're very very strongly emotionally you have a strong emotional feeling about it whatever it is doesn't matter sports dress ethics whatever and passion means strong emotional feeling about it okay and here we're talking about impassioned minorities in other words the vocal minority okay the vocal minority People who are willing to get up and say, we don't want this, and demonstrate on the street or whatever they do, okay? While well, most people, too busy working, too busy worrying about their jobs and stuff to get involved in that stuff. Uh, councils are elected on lower turnouts, and that's the problem. The city councils, councils, especially in the small towns, they have a, don't have a large voting base. So if I've allowed, the vocal minority can vote them out of office and that's what they're worried about. They're politicians and they're worried about being elected or re-elected. Okay? And it's a very powerful fear if you're sitting in a position that you're elected to. Okay? What's the difference? Elected means what? They have to vote. People voted for you. You were voted into that position. Appointed? Someone voted. Yeah. The government or someone said, okay, you are going to be the mayor. Okay? Voted by a higher authority, okay? So, elected, you're not safe. You could be out the next election if you don't keep the big voters happy. Appointed, you don't care because the voters don't control you. It's controlled at a higher authority, higher level, okay? And that's the problem here. The city councils, you and I vote for city councils, okay? And if we don't like them, we can vote them out of office. And that's what they're worried about. They don't want to lose their jobs. They don't want to lose their perks. They don't want to lose the benefits they have by being the mayor or the council. And they have benefits. Look at our city council. Overpaid and don't do anything. Okay? And most of them are probably going to disappear in next month's election. Okay? They're going to be voted out in next month's election because people are fed up with them. Okay? Uh, but that's the difference. And that's the problem here. They want the vocal minority is controlling the majority by the ballot box. You don't do what we like, we're going to vote against you and you'll lose your job. And that's what's happening here. Okay? And impassioned voters are more likely to vote than those not concerned at the subject. In other words, if I don't want fluoridation, I'm going to go and vote against it. Whereas 
people who don't care stay at home and they don't vote. So the vocal minority wins because they're the ones that vote and few of the silent majority vote. Okay? And that happens with most elections. Okay? A lot of us don't vote. I'm one of them. Okay? Uh, and that's what's what, happening here. Most of the people, they're in farming country, so they're too busy running their farms to worry about running down and voting about something. But the impassioned vocal minority, damn right, we're not going to have chlorine, we're not going to have fluoride, we're going to go down and vote. And they usually win. Okay? And that's what the councils and mayors and boards are worried about. That is why it, is a sen it was a sensible move by the government to take fluoridated decisions, fluoridation decisions away from councils and give it to district health boards because they're controlled by the government and the government can say, you will fluoridate your water. End of discussion. Okay? And the government will do it, whether people like it or not. Okay? So it was changed into health boards. District health boards? Yeah. DHBs? If we happened... No, this, this is fluoridation, not the chlorine. Oh, the fluoridation. Okay. Don't, uh, last year there was a big fuss about fluoridation. Some yeah. town didn't want fluoridation and they were protesting and chaining themselves to fences and stuff like that. We don't want fluoride in the water. And I'm thinking, what the hell are you wrong with you people? It's a proven fact that it's good for you mm -hmm. in the long run. Okay? Mm -hmm. But no, we don't want it because it, it might create some three-legged monsters or something like that. You know, that, weird, weird stuff, okay? Uh, despite the fact that most of the world uses it, okay? Um, so they've moved it to the health board. Health board's controlled by the government, and the government can say fluoride, yes. Chlorine, yes. Finish. End of discussion, okay? Uh, that's just with fluoride, fluoride now, not with chlorine, not yet. But I've got a feeling it's going to end up with the government. Okay? If chlorination was to become their decision, tap water would be treated probably everywhere. Okay? Generally, tap water in New Zealand is quite safe. There's nothing wrong with it. You can drink it. Okay? Just adding chlorine would make it safer. That's all. Just make it safer. And they don't drop tons of chlorine into it. It doesn't take much. Uh, okay, uh, I guess Jean again.